right, so here is the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. He certainly has cleaned out a lot of this division, but there are still guys who are coming to take what is his. How do you think he proceeds with this particular challenge here tonight? I mean, just being himself, he's as good as they come. The guy has tremendous striking. He's at great wrestling. He was thought to be a wrestler when he got here. We have seen him be a master of game planning. We have seen him be a master of strategy. A guy that fights with the game plan, the fight IQ through the roof. And tonight, you're going to experience one of the smartest, most technically gifted fighters you have ever seen. Let's see if that's enough, though, because the challenge is very big tonight as he steps into the octagon. And he does so having four times gone the full 25 minutes in the UFC. Volkanovski very much has a championship style. And he has got another title fight on his hands tonight. And Johnny on guitar. I mean, yeah, he, goes, yeah. he goes the distance. It seems like he's just running in the park, taking a night job on the weekend, fighting yeah. the best fighters in the world. And had he stayed in rugby league, probably would have been an absolute beast there too. Savage. Checks all the boxes, DC. Here's the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Plessner. The Plessner's crest is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway in his preparation, true lion to his soul, and it shows the toughness that he exhibited when he stepped into the opposite. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer BJ oh. Penn. Max blessed Holloway. Few guys are going to be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. for this lightweight scrap. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blast Holloway. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so somehow, some way, we've arrived at a fourth meeting here between two all-timers, Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway. And Volkanovski has said the first time I fought Max kind of got by on cardio and grit. Now he's the total package. He has got everything. And in fight three, we saw all of those skills on display. What we didn't see is him having to use his wrestling. Well, that was a saving grace in so many instances in fights one and fights two. It'll be on Max Holloway to change something, get out of the way of the right hand, if he wants to regain or reclaim his featherweight championship in the world. Nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter ever. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, I like that kick there. All right, so we will see early on how the bold man chooses to proceed, and no surprise to see Volkanovski go to the leg kicker. I mean, we have seen this constantly with Alexander Volkanovski, especially in the first Max Holloway fight. He won the fight behind the leg kick. 
He is so smart inside of the octagon that he will throw these leg kicks, not hard, but they draw something out of you, and then he starts to attack you with things that have more force. This guy's tremendous, and that is why he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Straight right is there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Holloway. Big ground and pound. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, trying to pass here. As Gilbert Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Making all these shots count. Control the hands. Control the hands. Watch yourself. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, good ground and pound here. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Another ground and pound strike gets home. from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Holloway's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Volkanovski. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels. It's oh, so bad. All right, so the pound for pound king, Alexander Volkanovski, putting it all together here tonight. Controlling range, fainting beautifully, and dominating another world class fellow. He just makes people look average. He's such a good striker, he's such a good wrestler. You know, we talk about guys that possess all the skills. One of the best in the world is Alexander Volkanovski. You have not seen many fighters better. And tonight, he is showing why he's the best. Uh, Horn set uh, for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the schools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so... His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put a foot on the gas to try to find that finish. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Nice punch there. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. As you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to his life. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, nice inside kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Nice jab by Holloway, yes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big shot lands for both guys. Three minutes. Clean execution on that leg kick. Well, missed on that one. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, my goodness. So 89 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkovsky. Well, a pretty good connection right there. Yeah, All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened right now. Oh, submission defense on full display. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon as it showed in that defense. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out or your night's going to end very early. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Hook right. to the head by Holloway. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Patented front kick there by Holloway. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Holloway's eye starting to swell now. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that one. And, and you know, honestly... Oh, yeah. And back to his feet. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Fifteen seconds. Oh. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Take a seat, bud. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up.
you could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round on the way. Volkanovski gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, body kick attack here. It's no good. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Some real power shots here. Oh, and now an up. He's got to start going now. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start him into martial arts. People throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just a split there. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Holloway's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Well, normally his fights don't last this long, but 133 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight. Against, uh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always see it. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Wow! Hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened the bottom. to the body by Holloway. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Holloway whiffs on the left there. All right, so he continues to attack that upper leg area, and the thigh is really starting to show some visible bruising now. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit labor. Look for him to try to switch his stance. Oh, yeah. Time now in the round. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, oh, Holloway's going for a choke here. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, great submission defense. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. 
A series of punches from the top here by Volkanovski. Final seconds of round three. Oh, Volkanovski's going for a choke. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. How in the world can he escape that position? That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting like wider that. by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, he's got his back. Three minutes to go. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volko. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volkanovski. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Volkanovski's in half goal. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He passes the half. 
Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Holloway going for the leg kick. He misses. Well, we, man, there's so much blood on the canvas. Yes, and now the referee steps in to call on the doctor. I think I can actually see his gum line. There's a hole in his cheek. I mean, the cut on the cheek is bad, but it also is the swelling that accompanies that cut that is going to cause this guy a lot of problems. Yeah, that'll do it. I don't need to see the teeth through the side <laughs> of his face. That's going to be the end of the fight, and uh, athlete will live to fight again, but certainly a disappointing conclusion to this one. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander the Great Bogomolsky! All right, so what a finish and what a performance for one of the more well-rounded guys in this division. He knew against this kickboxer he was going to have to mix it up and did so beautifully, I thought, tonight. He did exactly that. He used everything. He used every weapon in his toolbox in order to earn himself this win. But not only a win, a stoppage victory over a credential kickboxer. Congratulations.